right, that was fun, if somewhat silly. Hey, Internet, it is Friday, May 28th, and you have tuned in to the Ask a Pasker 2.0 version of the Worldview Everlasting podcast. Today on the docket, don't have any actual questions from out there in Internet land. Aside from a brief comment that was left on my Facebook page where I posted a Twitter of something I said to somebody in a letter this week that I thought was really clever and somebody else agreed with me. Visionary leadership doesn't try to change the future. It prepares for it. Uh, This is a confession of what we really do believe as Christians, that you can't change the pattern and flow of the world. The nations are a drop in the bucket. They're going to rise. They're going to fall. You can try to stand against fate. It ain't going to happen in terms of the giant picture of things. What you can do is you can know the truth about what's going on out there and you can prepare for it. So, for example, if you see the clear reality that, say, the money is going to dry up in America in the next 30 years or so, if you're a major bureaucracy, running a church organization, you could say, stop spending it. (laughs) Anyway, on a much more important note, I received an email this week, included in it the update newsletter from Reverend Mays, who is your missionary to Africa. This is the guy who a couple years back was baptizing Christians, and he got in a little bit of trouble with powers that be in the Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod over this issue, and they kind of yanked him. Well, uh, he was sent back by the Lutheran Heritage Foundation in order to do the good work of proclaiming Jesus, and he has seen tremendous things happen amongst Muslim populations with which he is working. You can check out at the link below both his newsletter and it included in that the website set up by a Somali convert who had to flee for his life from that area promoting evangelism and outreach to Somalis and other people groups with good old Lutheran theology. It's a wonderful thing to see and behold. With this also comes along this little clip I'm about to show you now of the French seminary for Lutherans in Togo, Africa, uh, introducing them to the new hymnal. Just check it out. Totally cool. Not only is it beautiful, but what that is right there is what it would really actually look like if you changed the style but kept the substance of Lutheran worship. See where I'm going? There's this problem, these worship wars that are happening in all the churches in America today. But the Missouri Synod, not least among them. And this argument that you can change the style but not the substance has been used over and over again to try to promote charismatic worship practices in the LCMS. However, they go in and they don't just change the style. There's something beautiful about when a culture actually embraces the entire substance of what the Lutheran Church has to give them uh, and yet puts their own stamp on it. Would only that Lutherans in America 
America could have the same kind of loving approach to the whole theology that comes in our hymnody. Before I finish my soul. But Mays is doing great work. Here's the other thing. Due to the hard times, there has been a loss of giving to the Lutheran Heritage Foundation. And so they were actually going to pull him and his wife and kids back from Africa, stopping this great work because they can't afford to keep him there. He and his wife said, no way. We're staying here. But here's the thing. They don't have any money. And so, on this day, I am instituting the Support Maze and his family and all Lutherans in Africa challenge. What I have right here is a personal check that I have written for $1,000 made out to Bethlehem Lutheran Church. This is Pastor Mays' home and supporting congregation. And in this corner, I have written Support Lutherans in Africa. You can see, $1,000. It is signed and ready to go, but I'm not sending it until you, all of you combined, match me. Now, you don't have to send it to me. I'll put the information below on what you're going to send, but this is your question of the day. Will you support Lutherans in Africa and the real putting of Lutheran theological Christ crucified for the forgiveness of your sins substance into the churches over there by making a donation towards the goal of all of you together matching this poor pastor's one-time gift of $1,000. So in the comment section below, say what you're willing to give and encourage others to join you in this support so that we can send at least $2,000, which will go a long way for this man, his wife, his five kids, and all these many Africans who are learning to love the good news that Christ has been raised from the dead for you, for me, for the ends of the earth. It's probably more than enough for us to deal with today. I've had a uh, I, kind of one of those days, but I do look forward to coming back to you with more Greek Tuesday just around the corner. Until then, may the maze ascend in your prayers and rejoice. The good news is Christ is risen. He's coming again. Even little men get eaten by a dragon. I ain't gonna stop it. Hi. Right.